Hi everybody, it's Doug and welcome to Zoom. And Zoom is one of the features that we talk about in this week's module that may be new to some of you. Uh, the concept of Zoom is very much similar to what you've seen in other instances like Skype. Uh, we also talked about the Hangout feature. Uh, you know, Zoom has very similar tools to those screen sharing, video conferencing, uh, the ability to schedule events and so forth. So I'm just kind of picking a couple of these to show you and demonstrate that are becoming more and more popular options for virtual collaboration at little or no cost. So I wanted to go ahead and demo Zoom for you. Uh, review the information in the module talking about uh, how to download Zoom, various features of it that I just described. Uh, again, there are certain things that you'll want to look at in terms of what your computer is and, and what hardware you'll support, what operating system and so forth. Uh, just a couple things I want to start with uh, in regards to Zoom. First of all, notice I have the free account. Uh, I'll never encourage anyone to purchase anything right off the bat before you make an investment. If there is a trial version, please go out and use it and get familiar with it before you invest any of your own hard-earned money into any of these tools that we talk about throughout the course. So that is probably the best option to consider that's here. Uh, Zoom, you'll notice, have a couple of different options that you can do instantaneous video conferencing as long as you have uh, the username or individuals with an invitation. It's kind of like Skype when it comes to that. You can't just put a link out there and have people come and, and uh, access the video conferencing. It's done via scheduling. Uh, there's a couple of different elements that you can start with there. So if you look to just a couple options that we're going to do, you'll notice here from the, the interface that's here. So notice there's the chat feature that's going to be very similar to what you see in the other ones, GoToMeeting, WebEx, uh, same type of concept there. You're able to communicate instantaneously with anyone that's on the same meeting. There's your contact list. Uh, this is going to be very similar to what you see with Skype, the ability to contact people within a network, instantaneous, one-click access. And of course you have your meetings, and which I'll get into in a minute here, that talk about when you're going to schedule these. So to get started with your meetings, you have the ability to start with or without video, um, depending on what you want to do. So I'll click on one of these elements that's here. You'll notice here that um, the video did come up, and you're looking at me specifically that's here. You notice it has a meeting ID. This is your call in. So if you want to do just a straight audio, this is very familiar to those of you that use uh, audio video, or I'm sorry, audio conferencing systems from dial-in capability. Those options are there as well. So you have the ability to do that. Uh, you also have the ability to start a meeting without video. And this is going to be a little bit different here. It's going to come up with the same uh, aspect that you saw there. Notice that it has your Zoom ID here, talking specifically about what the URL. These are unique individual uh, URLs, meaning every time you launch a meeting, it does create a new one. So if you're looking to reuse one, you won't be able to. Everything is, is uh, dynamic. It's not static. So the reusability factor is non-existent with this point. Again, showing you your audio information that you want to. You have the ability also to connect for, for uh, <clears throat> via uh, voice over IP, whichever one you want to do there. I notice there that there are different levels of, of calling in that you want to. Here's your other ones, invite attendees, uh, screen share, join audio. Again, these are all features that you have with a pay service like, again, the GoToMeeting or WebEx. So there's really some really cool stuff that's here. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more proactive in how you're using this tool, you can, as a participant, you can join. You can also schedule meetings that are here. So if you remember from the Google Hangout, you can treat this like a Outlook entry and you can create your meeting in advance. You can invite attendees, uh, all kinds of different things that are here. So really when it comes to all of these different video conferencing tools that are out there, we're getting more and more robust in these areas. And I really encourage you to try each one of these differently. Um, you know, don't get so sold on what you're used to. It's it's nice to see what else is out there. Uh, I remember when I first tried Zoom about two or three years ago, uh, organizations were using it. It's a great way to keep costs down. So there's plenty of ways we can use to connect with other people, collaborate, and do this in professional, academic, or just on personal use for whatever we want to do. As you know, the social media tools, those have built-in instantaneous access as well. So. Collaboration across video conferencing tools literally is everywhere, but I just wanted to kind of show you some of the features of Zoom and what it's like. I think the quality on this is actually really good. It's probably a little bit better than a Google Hangout. It can handle a few, a little bit larger volume in terms of participants. Uh, obviously, you can upgrade. You can get a, a more pay service oriented one that's also going to increase the avail availability of those. 
and the quality of that user experience as well. So hope you guys enjoyed Zoom. Uh, one of your assignments this week is to try one of these tools. This is a good one, good one to use. Um, if you want to try and Zoom with a friend, uh, whichever you want to do, you can look at the mobile app as well. So uh, look forward to what your responses will be as you submit assignments this week. And I hope you enjoyed Zoom and some of the other ones we've talked about this week. See you in the course, everybody.